Ecovax may be new to this channel, but they are certainly not new to the robot vacuum industry. My name is Jamie Andrews and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to focus on one of Ecovac's newest models, the DBot T10 Plus. It is a self-emptying robot vacuum with Ecovac's AIVI 3.0 obstacle avoidance and their latest Osmo Pro 3.0 mopping system. It is a very attractive package for sure. The robot is all white with a shiny gloss white lid. On the front is a single multifunction button with indicator lights. On the top, there is a clickable LiDAR cover. Up front, we have the AIVI camera system to help the T10 avoid objects in your home. More on this later. Under the lid, which is held on by a series of magnets, we have an all-in-one Wi-Fi reset button with indicator LED and a red on-off switch. A QR code sticker will help you get the app installed and set up. The dustbin, which is on the smaller side at 400 milliliters, pulls out by lifting up on the handle. You can see the side extraction door for evacuating debris from the dustbin into the charging station. The filter is a three-stage filter system consisting of a mesh pre-filter, a black sponge filter, and finally an F9 rated washable paper filter. The T10 Plus comes with an air freshener pod, which can be used in vacuum only mode. It installs in this blank piece that snaps in place where the mopping plate would normally sit. It's a smart idea, however, I don't think it is big or strong enough to be very effective as I never smelled it in the house. The mopping pad attached to the Osmo 3.0 system is a decent size and is removable from the robot. The water tank holds roughly 240 milliliters of water, and the water flow is electronically controlled through the app with three levels. The water is dispersed on the mopping pad in these four areas, which is fantastic and means even wetness on the mopping pad, which just velcros to the plate for easy removal. The mopping plate itself moves back and forth to help scrub your floors. On the back of the robot, there are two charging contacts. There are also two wall sensors found on each side of the front of the robot vacuum. On the bottom, we have six cliff sensors to keep it from tumbling downstairs, two side spinning brushes, both are color coded green and purple for easy installation. Included is an ultrasonic carpet detection sensor and a single front roller wheel. The roller brush cover clicks open to reveal a combo brush roller, which is part bristle and rubber. Now onto the base station, which is not too big and it's pretty simple. Down below you will find the single port for emptying the robot's internal dustbin, a set of charging contacts, and a single roller wheel to help line the robot up on the base. There's a single LED indicator light on the front. Around back, there is a nice large cord wrap, thank you Ecovax, and a plug for the included cord. Under the lid, we have a standard size 3.2 liter dust bag already installed for you, and is easy to remove by just pulling up on the tab. To the left is a place to store extra bags, which I really like. Too bad they didn't give you any extra ones in the box. Now let's move on to the performance testing of the T10, and we'll start with the carpet pickup test, where I scattered 54 grams of rice on medium pile carpet and set the robot on max plus mode to unleash all 3000 pascals of suction power. The 1010 did not disappoint as it was able to pick up 51 grams of rice or 94.4%. It's a good score. Next, we move on to the tile where we test the T10's ability to pick up heavy debris on hard floor surfaces, once again setting it in max plus mode. In this test I scattered 130 grams of cat litter, and this is where we see one of the weaknesses of the T10. These side spinning brushes spin too fast and scatter debris all over the room. This caused it to not perform as good as it could, but it was still able to pick up 115 grams or 88.4%. It would have picked up nearly all the cat litter had it not been for those side spinning brushes though. 
Next, we move on to test the mopping performance of the T10, but first let's take a closer look at this mop. The oscillating mopping plate moves back and forth up to 600 times per minute, which is great, except it's quite loud. Thankfully, you can adjust the speed between three levels inside the app. I recommend leaving it on gentle or daily to keep the noise down. I tested the new Osmo 3.0 mopping system on my tile floor, where I used baked on hot sauce to test the mopping ability. Using only water, I pre-wet the mopping pad. The oscillating mopping system only cleared some of the hot sauce after one pass. However, after a second pass, it was able to clear almost all of it. I would say the overall performance here is above average. The T10 is equipped with a single front-facing camera for object recognition and avoidance. I put the T10 through my typical obstacle avoidance test, where the results were favorable except for the fake poo, which it collided with one time. I had similar results testing on my wood floors, where it gets just a bit too close to objects. Where I feel the system shines is with random cords laying around. It was able to avoid those about 50% of the time, which may not sound good, but it is way above average in my testing. The auto empty station made quick work of emptying the internal dustbin of the T10, and it was not too loud doing so. The only negative is it did leave some smaller debris in the dustbin, as you can see here. This is not a huge deal as it will eventually get it, but just something to be aware of. The base pulls around 8 amps and 925 watts of power while emptying. Moving on to some pros and cons with the T10 Plus. First, some pros. I really like the overall design of the T10 Plus. It's one of the most attractive robot and dot combos that I have reviewed to date. But you didn't buy this just for its good looks. Which brings me to the next pro, the overall performance. In all of my testing, the T10 Pro impressed me with its ability to deep clean my carpets and floors. Next, while the object avoidance needs some work, I was very pleased to see it avoid stray cords around my house. The roller brush is also well designed, making it very easy to remove hair from the ends. Now for some cons. To me, the biggest con is the navigation. While most users may not notice the random hiccups, I think Ecovac should spend some time working on the logic and just making overall improvements to the navigation. I would say the navigation is average at best and expect some hiccups along the way. Smaller cons are the side spinning brushes spin too fast on hard floors and the mopping system is a bit too loud, especially on the highest setting. I also wish there was a mop only mode included. The Ecovacs T10 Plus has a retail price of around $1,000, but it can often be found on sale for less. Check the link in the description below for the best price. If you understand the quirks and limitations of the T10 Plus that I outlined here today, and they're not showstoppers for you, then you will have yourself a top tier robot vacuum with excellent cleaning ability and all the features you would expect from a thousand dollar price tag. If you're not already, please subscribe to this channel. It helps support the work I do here. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and take it easy everyone. Bye bye.